My name is Brian. I'm from M Combo, and I'm presenting to you the M Combo Expanding Dining Table in a white wood material. And this is one of the many positions that this table can expand to. In this video, I'll be showing you how to assemble the table and the many uh, expanding positions it comes with. First step, we have three different parts laid out right here. We have part number five, part number one, <clears throat> part number two, and the equipment that we'll be using for these uh, first step is letter H, G, and F. For the first step, um, I've laid out the piece number five, piece number two, and piece number one. And you can tell the difference of the, between these pieces uh, by the way these uh, points stick out and also where these holes are aligned. Uh, part number one has holes that are horizontal to the edge, like you see right here and over here. And part number two has holes adjacent to the edge, like you see right here and right here. And for part number five, you have three of these sheets. You have two holes right here and uh, two holes that are parallel to the edge right here. On this edge, you will be using part G and part F to screw it in. And on this side, you will be using part H, which is uh, the clips like these. For step two, you have pieces one and two uh, put together, and the latches and clips that we put on earlier will face nicely with each other, and simply all you have to do is uh, bring the clip over, lock it in on both sides, and then you're going to grab part number eight, and you have two of these. These are sliding brackets. There's uh, holes mounted on each side. You're going to uh, line up the holes, and with part letter A, you're going to put four on each side of the bracket. And four more here, and another four here. Once you uh, put those down, you're ready for the next. So for step three, we have uh, parts number six on each side, and we have part number seven here in the middle. And in this step, you have to uh, align the holes And with part number C, which is a washer, and part number A, and Allen key the letter L, we're putting these in. So once you have step three done, which is uh, connecting these uh, three pieces together, you want to go ahead and get parts uh, letter B and C. And you're gonna you have four of these, and you're gonna be putting them through these two and through these two. And, uh, and once you have the washer set, you just drop it in. And once you make set, make sure those are tight.
for step five, you're going to grab letters I, which is these right here, and you're going to screw these in. And a little bit of thread will be showing up and that's totally fine. Uh, so for the next step, you want to put all eight of them into their slots. Now in step five, after you have your, your rods in, tightened in as tight as you can, you're going to get part J and stick them in the holes next to them, as I've done on that side. And they simply just go like this, and you're ready for step six. So for step six, you, you have to get pieces three and four together, and put them through the rods how I have it right here. And the best way to do that is uh, these white points are for the floor. And if you look underneath, you will see uh, we have uh, four holes. The holes on the outside are for the wood studs, and the two in the center are for the metal studs we inserted earlier. And to insert them, you simply line it up. slide down and you will see that the groove aligns with the bracket down here. For the second half of step six you need to use a uh, tool letter K, washers and baggie letter D, and the nut uh, letter E. So you put the washer in the center holes and then you do your best to put the bolt on with your fingers and you use the key like that. Same thing on the other side. And now you're done with step six and ready for the next step. The first step in expanding the table after you've already assembled is you want to get underneath and you want to look for the clips that you installed and you want to go in and unclip. And once you have the panels on top, you want to go underneath 
and attach all the clips. Now the table is secure and ready to be used and seats up to eight people.